talk to him, hosted by yours truly, the one and only goods. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? We're going to get into it. We're going to leave no stone uncovered, and we're going to talk about the inauguration that took place yesterday on January 20th, 2021. It started yesterday with Joe Biden and Camilla Harris walking up the exact steps that rioters stormed up a little over two weeks ago. That's a historical moment because they walked up those steps in unison, completely disregarding, not disregarding, overlooking what those rioters did a little over two weeks ago, marking history. Also, while they were walking up the steps, I don't know if many of you noticed, but Camilla Harris was escorted by the Eugene Goodman the U.S. Capitol Police officer that lowered the rioters away from the Senate chamber, saving many senators. And a little background on Eugene. Eugene Goodman was a U.S. Capitol Police officer who was just going to work one day just to find out that a riot was going down at the Capitol. What did he do? He didn't waste any time. He took actions into his own hand and he saved lives. Eugene Goodman is an ex-Army sergeant who served in the 101st Airborne Division and also served in Iraq. And he has now been promoted to the acting Deputy Sergeant at Arms of the U.S. Senate as of January 20th, 2021. That man is a hero. He saved lives. And now people are repaying him. The Senate is repaying him by promoting him and great thanks goes out to Eugene Goodman I also want to note the strong presence of African American females yesterday let's take a look at Camilla Harris the new elected vice president first female vice president female African American vice president and yesterday when she swore in she used the Bible of Thurgood Marshall. That's powerful. Also, Michelle Obama, the first lady to Barack Obama. Inspiration to many. And Amanda Gorman. I don't know if many of you watched the inauguration yesterday, but Amanda Gorman. Gorman. She's a 22-year-old Los Angeles narrative. She came from Los Angeles. She's a poet. And she put on yesterday. Yesterday, she made history making herself the youngest ever inaugural poet to perform for a president. Yesterday, her poem touched hearts. It touched lives. And she is showing young black girls everywhere across America that it is possible to do whatever they want to do in life. Yesterday, watching those three women, yes, the three African-American women, Camilla Harris, Michelle Obama, and Amanda Gorman stand up there on, on the inauguration stand and show their face was powerful. Now many females around the world know that it is possible to do whatever they want to do. And it is a change in history because we're no longer going backward, we're now going forward. And now it's opening the doors to many African Americans everywhere. Just to change the, t the, the staring a little bit, get it going. As Joe Biden became the 46th President of the United States yesterday, he wasted no time, no time whatsoever to immediately undo Trump's damage and reverse his policies for everything that Trump has did. Now, some of the bills that Joe Biden signed yesterday may include, but is not limited to, a reversing Muslim travel ban, rejoining the World Health Organization and the Paris Climate Agreement, stopping construction on the border wall, ending the Keystone XL pipeline, and many more. Those were just the highlights of what President Biden did yesterday. 
Now, for him to stop everything that Trump did is helpful to some, maybe hurtful to some. But what does it matter? He's the president of the United States now. Now it is his time to rebuild America and make us strong, stronger than we were before. Even though Trump didn't show up yesterday, he left a, he left a letter. A heavy, heavy-hearted letter. He wrote it to the incoming staff. He didn't say no names, but he wrote a letter. Some may say it's the thought that counts. Is it really the thought that counts? Was Trump really that hurt that he decided not to show up? Very hurtful. However, that is the president that we elected to go into office and is right now currently being impeached. Being impeached. Now, we haven't heard anything back on the impeachment. Um, Nancy Pelosi still hasn't stated whether she will send the articles over to the Senate or not. But when it gets to the Senate, it will be completely in the Senate's hands to impeach Donald J. Trump or not. Will 17 Americans join 50 Democrats in impeaching Donald J. Trump on the counts of inciting insurrection? It's another question that we need to figure out. Also, before Trump left office, what did this man do? He always finds a way to amaze us. He always finds a way to amaze us. Yesterday, the day before yesterday, this was on January 19th, the night of January 19th, before the inauguration, Donald Trump pardoned 73 people and commuted the sentence of 70 people, totaling up to 143 acts of clemency. Now, many people were like, what does that mean? What does it mean? How did he do that? Do you even know what it is? How it is? Well, let's go into what it is so everybody knows when you get a pardon you are being completely forgiven for everything you did or whatever you were arrested for or whatever you you got taken in for it's forgiven many people may want that forgiveness but many people may never receive that forgiveness clemency means that you're granted a little bit of mercy with, with some exceptions. Everything isn't gone. You did it, but it's not gone. You get a little bipartisan a little bit. You get, you get a, little, a little leeway, you know. You get a, a reduce. They'll reduce it. That can go for funds. That can go for jail time. You can go for anything that you, you have been accused of. However, Donald Trump yesterday granted clemency to 143 people. A part of those 43 people were actors or artists, still actors in a certain way. Artists is Kodak Black. And Lil Wayne. Now Kodak Black has been in jail for some time now. He's been in and out. But he got some clemency yesterday. So did rapper Lil Wayne. Also, Elliot Brody. He got uh, clemency yesterday. He was a top fundraiser for Trump's campaign. Uh, Kwame Kilpatrick. The former Detroit mayor who was charged with racket tearing. He got granted some clemency yesterday. And Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon was pardoned yesterday. Steve Bannon was arrested on counts of fraud using money from Trump supporters to build the wall. But, however, he took a million dollars for his own personal use. Now, Steve Bannon... He's a long-term helper of Trump. So is Elliot Brody. 
So many people may be like, oh, Trump's up to something. Trump is definitely up to something. He pardoned 143 people before he left as his final executive act of power. It doesn't just go away like that. What do you think he's doing? However, we're not into conspiracies here. I want to talk to him. We're only here to give the facts. And that is what we will do. That is what we will always do. Question is, what will happen for the country in Biden's next 100 days? What other bills will he sign? Now that Democrats have the House, the Senate, and the Congress, will it remain a democracy? Will they continue the democracy that we're building on? Or, or will they completely take over? Will Democrats reunite this country? Or will they seek revenge for what Trump has done? That is just questions that we must ask. Ask. Because if we don't ask them, then they won't get answered. And hey, on talk to them, we will ask the questions that nobody else want to ask. Whether you with us or you not, please listen to us because we're only in the business of helping. I encourage everyone to get out and do their own research on what's going on. I encourage everyone to get out there and lend a helping hand to those who need it. Do not overlook it. Because as a community, we must come together. We must grow strong. We must build on each other or nobody else will. And I'm in the business of helping people. Today was a solo podcast. Today we laid out the facts. A brief summary of the facts of what's going on. And next week we'll be, we will be getting in depth of what we talked about today. As we'll bring some guests on the show who specializes in what we're talking about and can lay down some background information. But the country is done destroying. If we continue to destroy, we won't have a country to go back to. So now we're, we're now in the business of rebuilding. So that's the questions that we have to ask. Is Joe Biden going to rebuild this country or is he going to continue to tear it down? Will Joe Biden go and have a sit down with the Republicans and, and get both sides of the aisle to sit down and talk about what is going on? What's the issues? How can they fix it? Or will he continue to overlook the issues? And will he just use his democratic power to take over everything? Always look at the story from both sides. Never come at the story one sided. And that's what we must do. And here, we will do it. Next week, we will get further into, into detail on what's going on. We will pull out more trending topics. We will speak on those who don't want to be spoken on. But I'm sorry, that's just what we're going to do here. We're going to lay out those facts. We're going to turn every stone so that the people know what is really going on. Because public office is for the public. We put people in there. We often take people out. It's the power of democracy. Without democracy, we will fall. So will this country continue to be a democracy or will it start to roll over into a dictatorship as it almost did? Separations of power is important. And we must make sure that that separation of power stays separated. And we must make sure people watch over those who try to do stuff behind closed doors. So, here on Talk To Him, we'll get down into details about what's going on. We spoke about the inauguration a little bit today. We'll go more in depth next week. I thank everybody for listening to me. I thank everybody for tuning into my episodes. Please continue to support, like, share, and comment on every video because we're only going up from here. 
Once again, this is Talk To Him, hosted by yours truly, the one and only goods. If not us, then who? If not now, then when?